Hi folks, this is all the fruit and in the busy streets of Jakarta, the capital of Indonesia, I found something I never expected here. A small but still full-size fig tree. Look at this. This is a two-story house, a small two-story house, but still a two-story house. And the tree is pretty much the size of the of the house. Let's see how old it is. Bapak, pohon itu berapa tahun? Paling dua tahun juga belum. Berapa tahun? Sepuluh, lima belas? Dua tahun. Dua tahun. Dua tahun? Itu dua tahun? Muda. Muda masih muda. Pohon di dua tahun. Okay, terima kasih. Boleh makan satu? Boleh. Terima kasih. So those folks say that this tree is two years old. Uh, yeah, the busy streets of Jakarta. You can fall victim to them. And also my my grab driver is really unnerved. Why am I so? Boy. Why am I so perplexed about this? Look at that. Dua tahun ini. They say it's two years old. I still cannot believe it. In Europe, this would be seven, eight years at least. And fix up culturally pretty. Ah, yeah, yeah. Satu minut. Saya tinggi, saya tinggi. Okay. Terima kasih. Here those nice people gave me a half-ripe fruit. There are more ripe ones on the higher branches, but this one is easier to reach. Let's see. Small, thick, bright yellow. Actually, my phone shows it more bright yellow than it is. I see it more as a greenish yellowish. Mm. Nice and sweet. Mm. Which is amazing in itself in this climate. Well, not extremely sweet, but still sweet. Quite amazing. As I said, those fruits are culturally quite important for those people because they're also mentioned in the Bible and in the Quran. And so in the last years and decades, there's been quite a search in cultivating fig trees here. They like to cultivate culturally significant fruit trees here. For example, around the mosques, you will often see date palms, which are not the desert date palm that Mohammed was familiar with, but like more rainforest date palms. But for them, it's important to have date palms. Here, by the way, this is also a date palm. Yeah, definitely a, a date palm. And it's not one of the typical rainforest state palms I know about here. Very greenish leaves. In the Mediterranean, I would have said this is definitely a Phoenix Canariensis. But down here, the trunk doesn't look like Phoenix Canariensis, but amazing. So this guy also has a date palm here. But I don't know what species of date palm, but the fig tree is much more amazing because the only fig trees I've seen around here, they're usually kept in pots. Well, they're very rare, by the way. They're usually kept in pots, usually under a roof or under a plastic cover to protect them from the rain. This thing is so resilient. It's growing out here. It's growing all the way to two meters. And it's producing, well, it's producing fruits of acceptable quality. It looks nice and healthy. Never seen anything like this. Well, actually, there is one near my uh, there is one near my um, homestay, and I, oh, this nice guy now went to the to the second floor. <laughs> went to the second floor. It is picking. It is picking so many fruits. Such nice people. I just asked them a couple questions about this thing, and they and they decided to treat me to some fix. Also, 
seems to be his house, so if he says this is only two years old, yeah, we have to take it on face value. I mean, I'm pretty sure this must be older, but okay, if it doesn't lose its leaves here in winter, fix a very fast growing trees, if it doesn't lose its leaves here in winter, might grow even faster than in temperate or subtropical areas. Still amazing because, as I said, all the figs I've seen here traditionally are pampered small trees in pots under cover. Well, this one is totally, yeah, growing here. I mean, yeah, it's a sheltered location, but what does it shelter it from? Not from the rain, not from the sun. Oh, Tarima Kasi, Papa! Tarima Kasi! Tarima Kasi! Look at that. He's given me a couple more. They are not completely ripe, however. See this big hole in every fig? Yeah. The rain has already penetrated. Ooh. Enak, Manis, Tarima Kasi. What's very amazing, mm -hmm. there is also rain in this other one, but none of them is rotten, not even the last one I ate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can taste the rainwater inside, but none of them is rotten yet. I mean, Compared to the quality, mm. of mangoes or other fruits around here, I would say this is not a top quality fruit and not even a top quality fig, but it's a decent quality fig. So I really have to, we really have to applaud to this guy for managing to grow this fig to this size in an area where yeah, there are hundreds of wild fig species in Indonesia, but this one, this one is not intended to grow here. Pohon bike, pohon bagus. Terima kasih, Bapak. Selamat siang. Near my homestay, there is another fig tree, slightly smaller than the first one, but not so much smaller, definitely well over four meters. Also not ripe right now. It's full of fruits, but not ripe. Uh, the leaves don't look so healthy, but uh, remember those are deciduous trees. Uh, this species, Ficus carica, is deciduous. So, um, yeah, it's possible that this tree is totally healthy, but just uh, being kind of semi-deciduous, uh, going to lose its leaves pretty soon and again it's growing here without much additional protection surrounded by those sandbags I wonder ah they are from some construction oh the little kid is so scared beautiful tree okay let's leave the little kid alone <laughs> by the way I talked uh, a little bit more to the owner and he said it's from the Middle East when I asked from where from Saudi Arabia uh, I don't know if he, he wanted uh, to say that he has brought this tree himself from Saudi Arabia, that basically yeah, that's where it comes from, from the Middle East, from the Eastern Mediterranean. <coughs> Not so sure about that. Here, by the way, American Fox Grapes, another temperate plant, very frost hardy, which was adapted to the, uh, to the tropical climate of lowland Java. And they... I mean, they look healthy enough and they are fruiting. And on the way here, I found, I, I saw a six meter high, very healthy looking olive tree <coughs> in a garden, but I didn't want to um, to stop my driver again. He was a little bit unnerved. Yeah, I gave him a big tip, don't worry. So yeah, it, it's so amazing. Those people just like us, we in the cold temperate areas, we also want figs, olives, palms and so on. But some species we are struggling to introduce, for example, in Germany slash Central Europe, like the Mediterranean fig, the, uh, also the olive tree, date palms, and so here. 
in the tropical lowland climate of Jakarta, they are also attempting and with some success to introduce them. So folks, those were the figs and a little bit about grapes and olives in the lowland tropical city of Java, uh, of uh, Jakarta and Java. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful and incredibly fruit rich city of Java, by the way, the second largest metropolitan area in the world. And of course, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.